talk a little bit about capital and capital accumulation. Uh, because we're going to use that to talk about productivity growth and a lot of issues. But we we kind of need to understand capital a little better before we can really fully address the issue of, of technology and technology change. I would love to talk about technology and technology change because it's such an important topic in today's world. But we, to get there, we're going to have to talk a little bit about capital. So I'm, I'm going to go back and I'm going to continue to work in this two good world, L and K. And right now, I'm just going to think about the capital as a cap, as what we call in economics, a capital or durable input. All right. So when you think about production, you can think about three kinds of inputs. Really, you can think about kind of inputs like labor that are, well, well labor. I mean, labor. You can think about a service market that is a market for the services of a asset like labor. Or you can think about a capital goods market where you're buying goods in the market. Okay? Or you can think about materials. And the big difference with materials, materials are sort of used up in the production process. right? They're things that you put in and you know, it's used up. It's not a capital asset. It has no durability to it. What? I would count land as capital. Land's a form of capital. In fact, land was the most important part, type of capital for a long time. Now, land, at least the way we, for people tra traditionally thought about it, had one aspect that people didn't think so much about investment in land. But actually, we do invest in land. It's not the land per se. It's not like we're, you know, some places we actually created land. So we actually did invest in land in some places, right, where we actually there wasn't land, there was water, and we filled it in and we made it into land. So we actually do invest in land. But more importantly, when you think about land, you don't really want to think about just pure space. You want to think about land as got some quality elements too. So we often invest in the quality of land, right? We flatten the land, we take the trees off the land, we fertilize the land. There's a lot of things we do to make the land better. So even land is something we can invest in maybe not in terms of so much creating increasing the total acreage of land available that pretty much given by the size of the land mass on earth you know we do a little bit to augment the amount of land but not a ton but we do a lot to augment the amount of usable land and you go around the world and in a lot of places where we've increased the amount of usable land substantially drain swamps flatten mountains. We've done lots of things to increase, irrigate places that were too dry to really be usable. We've done a lot of things. Brought in air conditioning to allow us to use land that was very difficult to use when there wasn't air conditioning. Eradicated diseases in places that made land essentially unusable. There are a lot of things we've done to increase the effective supply of land. So even land 